It is a trick. Let me ask you a question. Ask me, ask away. Do you think Kendrick Lamar believes he is the greatest rapper alive right now? Yes. Okay. Yes, sir. I don't need another fake friend, dog. Can't be about a whole cup of sharing, dog. Might have a rapper, girl, but she ain't Drake yet. Everyone's talking about Kendrick Lamar throwing some major shade at Drake and J. Cole in a new track. This all went down on an album dropped by Metro Boomin' in Future. The track's called Like That, and Kendrick doesn't hold back, claiming he's the king of the rap game. But with the album being a Metro Boomin' and Future collab, it looks like they've got their own beef with Drake, especially Future, who seems to have a specific bone to pick with Drake. Let's dive deeper into what's going on. But first, let's take a step back and explore the bond between Drake and Future. These two have been hitting the studio together for a while now, creating some real bangers that have taken over the charts. Their partnership goes beyond just dropping occasional tracks together. They've formed a real friendship, both behind the mic and away from the studio lights. Their collab on the mixtape, What a Time to Be Alive, which hit the shelves in 2015, was a game changer. It wasn't just any team up, it was like a summit of rap royalty, with both artists bringing their A-game. Tracks like Jumpman turned into instant classics, cementing Drake and Future's reputation as a rap powerhouse duo. And they didn't stop there. They've kept the hits coming, featuring on each other's tracks, and proving time and again that their musical chemistry and respect for each other run deep. Ah, what's that? We gotta cook that up. That too. So I already cooked. <laughs> yeah, Top yeah. secret. Yeah. Not better. Top secret. F V G O V O. Or Joe might be cooking back up again. That's what I heard. Yeah, yeah, we got you know what I mean? We're, all, we're always working. We're always working. We got some. <laughs> Drake and Future have lit up the world of rap together. From electrifying performances on global tours to dropping singles that have fans hitting replay over and over, their collaboration has been a major win for the music scene, showcasing not just their talent, but how well they complement each other. Their teamwork shines, whether it's Future's hard-hitting trap beats blending with Drake's smooth delivery, or both artists locking into the kind of catchy choruses that stick in your head for days. This rich history of collaboration makes you wonder, when did the atmosphere shift between Drake and Future? For many fans, the subtle digs artists sometimes sneak into their tracks have flown under the radar. However, a closer look reveals the drama might have started with Drake's cryptic lines in his music, sparking widespread speculation. Initially, fans and critics alike were puzzled, throwing out names like Metro Boomin' and The Weeknd as possible targets of Drake's verses. Yet, those guesses didn't quite add up, especially with Drake's pointed lyric, what happened to the claiming OVO, we traded him. This line alone fueled speculation and debate about the real subject of Drake's veiled messages. The rumor mills began to spin, fueled by whispers that Metro was badmouthing Drake to a woman. This might seem like a stretch until you remember the tight-knit circle these artists and their acquaintances move in. It's not hard to picture how Drake could have caught wind of these comments, sparking lines in his music like, let me kick it basic. They ain't got love for the boy, so they fake it. Crack a couple jokes to some is on some snake sh these revelations paved the way for Drake to drop even more direct lines, hinting at, but if I send a verse to they ass, then they'll take it, shoot a video, arm around me like we aces, or pop out at my shows, jump around with me on stages. Since Metro Boomin' and Drake hadn't recently collaborated in such ways, but Future had, it started to become clear who Drake might actually be referring to. This layered narrative between the lines of Drake's verses paints a complex picture of the relationships within the rap industry. Drake's concluding lines threw everyone for a loop, especially when considering the tone he maintained throughout the verse. But suddenly, it all clicked when understanding that much of this beef might revolve around a woman both artists were involved with. Drake hints at this with, might have f***ed a rapper girl, but you ain't f***ed Drake yet. Might have f***ed a rapper girl, but she ain't f***ed Drake yet. This glimpse into the drama unfolds a complex story of intertwined relationships, potential misunderstandings, and maybe even clashing egos within a closely connected music industry. As these subtle hits accumulate, they sketch out a narrative of a friendship and working relationship that has shifted from its once collaborative and supportive nature to something more strained, both personally and professionally, between Drake and Future. The intrigue doesn't stop there though. Fans are now dissecting the lyrics and the deeper meaning behind the tracks on Future and Metro Boomin's album, We Don't Trust You. While Kendrick Lamar's direct approach has been the talk of the town, there's a growing suspicion that the album also contains veiled digs at Drake. Right from the get-go, Future comes out swinging in the opening track, suggesting a possible fallout with Drake. Future's lyrics are cutting, painting a picture of someone who acts like a number one fan, but also engages in sneak dissing and pillow talking like a fed, phrases that fans are speculating might be pointed at Drake. Break. The line, can't be about a hoe, cause we sharin' dog, seems particularly pointed, almost as if it's speaking directly to Drake, flipping his own lyrics back at him. The entire album is rife with what could be indirect shots at Drake, leaving fans to piece together the puzzle of what's really going on behind the music. I don't need another fake friend, dog. Can't be about a hoe, cause I'm sharing, dog. 
The buzz about a potential feud isn't coming out of nowhere. There's been talk that things between Drake and Future started getting tense after Drake chose to focus on his collaboration album with 21 Savage, Her Loss. To stir the pot even more, Metro Boomin seemed to have his own beef with Drake. This became apparent last December when Metro shared his thoughts on the music industry, hinting that Her Loss getting more spotlight than his projects felt unfair. Drake responded to Metro with some cryptic comments, but the conversation did not end there. Even though Metro later attempted to dismiss the possibility of any real beef on social media, the situation remains unclear, leaving fans to read between the lines. Given Future and Metro's close relationship and history of working together in the studio, it's not unreasonable to believe Future is channeling both his and Metro's grievances in his verses. This drama has deep roots, as Future was reportedly kicked off Drake's tour for making some less than stellar comments about Drake's album. They appear to have smoothed things out, collaborating on tours and tracks after that. However, the most recent lyrics and exchanges hint at some underlying issues that may not have been fully addressed. So, We Don't Trust You could be more than just a catchy album title. It could indicate a deeper conflict in the rap world, particularly among future Metro Boomin and Drake. As fans, we're left to sift through the lyrics of their songs, social media posts, and old interviews, hoping to piece together the true story behind what could be one of the most complicated disputes in the rap game today. With all of this drama unfolding, the rumor mill is working overtime, pulling in other big names from the rap scene. Take, for instance, Rick Ross popping up on this album with Future and Metro Boomin. This move has fans and critics buzzing with even more speculation, especially when you think about the musical history Ross shares with Drake. They've teamed up in the past, delivering tracks that fans couldn't get enough of, but now there are whispers suggesting Rick Ross might be throwing shade at Drake, adding another layer of intrigue by featuring on an album that seems to be subtly targeting Drake. These rumors have everyone on edge as they try to figure out what is really going on behind the scenes. Rick Ross's involvement is especially surprising given his previous good relationship with Drake. Everyone is wondering what's going on here. Has the dynamic changed? Ross's appearance on an album that is part of this brewing storm alludes to complex relationships and alliances in the industry, leaving fans wondering about the true nature of these connections and how they evolve over time in response to conflict. And rolling notes, and I heard is a trap house. I'm they say Rick Ross a billionaire. Yeah, he ain't no billionaire. He over exaggerate everything. Y'all better stop believing that. He do shit for the gram. And Drake, I want you to call me because I got something to tell you personally. He talk about your family back, and he racist too. He, he talk about Drake like a dog. I'll tell you right on Drake business allegedly. Cause he pillow talk with me every all through the night when he wants sandwiches and wake up. His sleep pattern out. This whole scenario has turned up the heat in the rap community, with whispers hinting that artists are being pressured to choose sides in the beef. It's a stark reminder of how intricate and complicated relationships within the music industry can become when conflict arises. Rick Ross joining forces with Future and Metro Boomin on this project has everyone asking questions about the relationships and loyalties among these artists. Considering the solid history and mutual respect shared between Drake and Rick Ross, this new development has left fans scratching their heads, wondering where allegiances really lie amidst this growing tension. In the midst of this escalating beef between all these rappers, Joe Budden has taken it upon himself to dissect the core of the dispute, paying special attention to the defiant message Kendrick Lamar is sending to Drake and J. Cole. Leveraging his platform, Budden thoroughly analyzes Kendrick's bold declaration of being the unrivaled force in the rap game. On his podcast, he dives deep into the lyrics stirring up the rap world, shedding light on Kendrick's motivations for such direct confrontations and their implications in the broader rap battle arena. Budden's analysis peels back the layers of this rivalry, emphasizing how Kendrick is shaking up the established order, boldly claiming his spot at the top of the rap pyramid. With his deep knowledge of rap and a sharp eye for what makes lyrics pop, Joe Budden really dives into Kendrick Lamar's challenge to Drake and J. Cole. He looks at what Kendrick's words mean not just for these artists, but for the whole rap scene. Budden isn't just scratching the surface, he's getting into the strategy behind Kendrick's words and how they might shake things up between him, Drake, and J. Cole. Listening to Budden, you get to see the bigger picture of why Kendrick's claiming he's the best matters so much. So, there you have it, a deep dive into the latest rap drama. Kendrick Lamar has thrown down the gauntlet, calling out Drake and J. Cole in a bold move. Meanwhile, the drama between Future and Drake seems to hint at some old tensions, and figures like Rick Ross and Joe Budden, they're right in the mix, each adding their own flavor to the story. Now, we're left with some big questions. Will Drake hit back with his own diss track? What about J. Cole? Is this the start of something bigger, or will things cool off? And really, what kind of music will come out of all this drama? Everyone's waiting to see what happens next, guessing and hoping. What's your take? Do you think this beef will keep growing or will these artists work it out? Drop your thoughts down below.